Let's talk a little bit about the credentials in Hummingbot and in the dashboard. One of the best things about Hummingbot is that all the information is yours. In other platforms, you have to provide your API keys to them so they know everything about your account and they can use it as they want. In this case, for Hummingbot, the problem of hashing the passwords is solved, but we need to figure out a way to do it for the dashboard. Here I am presenting two ways. The first one is manually hash the passwords and just create the users that are going to be allowed to enter into the platform. And the second way is to register or whitelist some of the emails so they can create automatically their accounts. Now let's check the two of them. The first method declares the users and the passwords for each of them. The ABC actually that you can see as a template is not working. You will need to pass through the process that you can see here in the screen of hashing the password. Remember to have the con environment activated because if not, Streamly Authenticator is not going to work. You're not going to have that library installed. And once you hash the password and generate the output string, you will need to replace where is ABC uh, for that string. Then in the web app, you can just access with ABC. This process can be a little bit complicated if you have a lot of users that are going to interact with the dashboard. So let's check how we can scale this with the second method. This method is simpler. We need to define a list of the emails that are whitelisted to access to the dashboard and then they just need to fill the register form and log in for the first time. When this happens, the password will be hashed and stored in the YAML that we are seeing on the screen. Here we have the credentials at YAML file with the username admin and the password ABC. Remember that this ABC is not working. We need to hash it before. So here I have a terminal with the con environment activated. I will import the stream with authenticator, as I mentioned before, this was the command that I ran. And then I'm going to use this stout hasher ABC to generate the hash password for ABC. So let me copy this and replace here the ABC with the hashed ABC. And now we need to run make run and we will try if the admin user ABC you can see that is his ABC and we should be able to log in yeah now we are logging in, in the dashboard we can check different things so well now let's check the second method here it says operations at hamibo.org but you will need to change it for the email that you want let's suppose that I will do Federico at Hummingbot.org. So now this email is pre-authorized too. And then I need to run make run again. And here you will see that I need to register my email Federico at Hummingbot.org. Username Demon. Let's put all the things Demon. And click here on register. Once we uh, do this, we need to go here without leaving this and log in for the first time, daemon, daemon. And that's when the password is actually really saved. One important thing is that you can go to all the pages of the dashboard from here. But the important thing is that if you want to log out, you will need to come back again to the Hummingbot dashboard and then press log out. This is the most secure way that we have right now to keep your credentials and the rest of the application secret.